Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour Non-Combat DLC Mode. Uh, it is time for our next tour from the Pyramids, which is... Uh, by the way, we're going to be learning more about, with this title right here, Jean-Pierre Houdin's Theories on Ancient Egyptian Construction Techniques and the Great Pyramid. So the title here is Jean-Pierre Houdin's Theories. Estimate time will be at least 7 minutes or higher. Eight stations to explore, and our history experts will take over from here. So, without further ado, I'll catch you guys either during or after the tour. Enjoy. Don't forget, welcome to Jean Pierre Houdin's theories. The team wanted to provide players with a sense of exploration and discovery, particularly within the Great Pyramid. As such, a decision was made that the internal design of the monument in the game would reflect Jean-Pierre Houdin's theories. While the antechambers of the King's Tomb have yet to be discovered, Houdin posits that this is merely due to a unique design placing the Pharaoh's tomb at the center of the pyramid. The entire tour you are about to take was designed along Houdin's hypotheses. Alright, so right away on our very first station, right away we have a behind-the-scenes look at exploring new rooms. Alright, uh, yep, a lot of information is there. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the tour and head to the next station. Oh, wait a minute. What's down here? Oh, that's climb up. Okay. While respecting Houdin's hypothesis as to the general layout of the antechambers, the team wanted the contents to enhance the game experience. In regular royal tombs, the antechambers were filled with all the material goods needed by the pharaoh in the afterlife. To support the feelings of discovery and awe, the art team created a unique and fantastical treasure in this second antechamber. Alright, uh, I don't think it's happened very often, but we have back-to-back -back stations with a behind-the-scenes look. This one is from the antechambers. And again, all the information will be there. Not gonna blow every single one of them. Let's go to the third station. Houdin theorized that the ascending corridor and the great gallery were used by the workers to haul hoist the heavy beams above the king's chamber. He called it the service circuit. The corridor you are in now was created by the team following Houdin's theory and is referred to as the noble circuit. It is through this corridor that the wooden sarcophagus containing the pharaoh's mummy would have been transported to its final resting chamber. And again, another first right here. We've never had the well. We never had three stations in a row, and the first three stations being behind the scenes. This one's about the noble circuit, and according to Houdin, he theorized the corridor and the great gallery were used by the workers, uh, which hoisted the heavy beams above the king's chamber. So it was the circuit, uh, service circuit, and the corridor we're in right now, which is the noble circuit. All right, uh, let's find out more about it. Or, in other words, continue on with the next station, that is. With this structure in mind, one can easily assume that the pyramid's entrance would have been connected to the two antechambers. Modern research has revealed that a cavity might be located behind the north face chevrons of the pyramid. As such, the team chose to create this area for the player to explore. 
Here is where Houdet believes that the priests and nobles would have exited the pyramid after the burial ceremony. All right, we're actually going to keep on going right here. First four stations already behind the scenes. That's incredible. I'm going to predict every single one of these stations would most likely be uh, behind the scenes. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyway, let's go to the next station. theories regarding the construction of the Great Pyramid rely on the usage of external ramps. However, Houdin believes an external ramp would have been too steep for the upper portion of the pyramid. This is why he posits that there were two ramps. An external ramp for about half of the height of the pyramid, which then became an internal ramp for the second half. Okay, so in station five, another behind the scenes look here. Um, as we have a look at the last paragraph right here, two ramps that were uh, that were posits here. So as mentioned, there's an external ramp for um, the height of the pyramid, and then an internal ramp for the second half. So that's not bad. Boy, we're getting to learn a lot about this pyramid so far. All right, next station. Here we go. <coughs> Houdin's theory states that this internal ramp followed the sides of the pyramid in an ascending spiral pattern. A notch discovered in the edge of the Great Pyramid, known as Bob's Room, seems to support this theory. Located at the corners of each edge of the pyramid, these large rooms would have allowed workers to turn the stone by 90 degrees, allowing them to continue the ascent. The team chose to create rooms such as this one bringing Houdin's hypothesis to life. There we are. There's another behind-the-scenes station right here. I'm going to show you this in full. This is the early concept of uh, a Bob's room with the interior ramp edition. There's the full picture. And let's go to the next station. This long corridor was the first section of the ascending internal ramp. Through it, the blocks used to build the Great Pyramid would have been carefully moved upward and then turned at each edge of the pyramid in order to continue their ascent. Though the team only created the main ramp for the game, Houdet posits that this ramp had two levels, allowing workers to return safely to the bottom thanks to an additional corbelled upper section. Yeah, didn't did know that this ramp had two levels right here. I think one's at the top and one's at the bottom, which allows workers to uh, return safely. Nice. All right, let's go to the last station. I think history might be made here. According to Houdet, the start of the inner ramp was located at the base of the southeastern face of the pyramid. This location would have been the junction point of the external and internal ramps. Below us, workers would have built the lower part of the pyramid with the external ramp before eventually switching to the internal ramp for the middle and upper sections of the pyramid. At that time in the process, they could have reused the material of the external ramp to fill the center of the pyramid, hauling the stones in through the internal ramp. There you have it, all the information is there. So a little bit of history has been made. Every single one of these stations, that's all eight of them, every one of them is a behind the scenes look. I, I don't think that's ever happened before in the Discovery Tour of Assassin's Creed. That is incredible.
That's a lot of information from our, uh, well, from the Ubisoft team, that is. Alright, so that completes the tour. That is finished. Uh, let's see, was that one? Yep. So that was all about Jean-Pierre Houdin's theories. Boy, I'll bet you the team was working hard on that right there. Boy, boy, a lot of information covered there. All right, five tours remaining. Our next one will be coming your way ne on the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you next time.